Hello and welcome to ESL Revolution, everyone. I am your content creator and professor, Dr. B. Not a real doctor. How are you today, everyone? Happy Saturday. That's right. Happy Saturday. It is March, March 6th. That's right, March 6th. And today is going to be a kind of like a weekly update on things that I've noticed, uh, things that you should know about, uh, just uh, so that we are all on the same page and uh, moving forward. All right. So um, now I know that my Monday class has not had the introduction day. That's okay. Um, you can uh, tag along this video as well. Okay, so the first thing is I am going to be doing weekly content on the YouTube channel. Um, so I would recommend, uh, um, you know, getting subbed into the channel. That way you can stay current with the content. There's lots of older content on there as well um, with tips and hints and all sorts of things that can help you kind of understand what's going on in the class. So the link is down below. I will also send the link out uh, to all of the to all of you via the uh, cacao chat, uh, the cacao group chat. Now my Monday class, I know that um, I know that you are um, uh, you haven't had the class yet, but I will once we get the cacao group set up on Monday for uh, 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. I will put the link in there uh, as well for you. Okay. So that's the so that's the first thing there. Uh, uh, get connected into the the digital space. Uh, it's always you know it's always always good to have that. Always good to have that. Um, announcement number two. Um, this doesn't apply to everyone uh, that was in my classes uh, this past week. Uh, obviously, if you were in class, this is not going to apply. However. I did notice that a couple of the students um, in the class that were doing the Zoom, uh, doing doing it as a you know uh, as a digital class, um, I did notice that there were a couple of students who were in their dormitories. Okay, um, if you are in your dormitory, you should be in the school. You should you're already at school. You should be in the classroom. Okay, um, there. You know, if you were at home, that's different. If you were at school, if you were in your dormitory, then come to class. It's pretty easy for me to know that you're in a dormitory. Um, I can tell. Uh, so yeah, come to class. Uh, you're going to get a better experience. I hope you'll get a better experience in the classroom. Um, if you are at home, I am coming up with some new strategies to make the online learning a bit more fun and interesting and enjoyable for everybody. I'm doing that this weekend, actually. Um, the second announcement I have uh, is kind of similar. Um, there, <laughs> this has not happened to me yet, but I'm putting this out there. Um, we've had other teachers where students, you know, teachers, you know, as students talk, teachers talk as well. Um, I've had some some teachers say, you know, I've first week I've got students sitting in a Starbucks, they're sitting in a coffee shop, they're sitting at CU, they're in any other place than either their home or the school. So this is just a little heads up. You need to be in your home or in the school. All right, those are your two options for doing online learning. The reason is. If you are not coming to class and you're sitting in a coffee shop, it defeats the purpose of being at home and taking good care of yourself for your health during COVID, right? Being in a coffee shop is not appropriate, okay? So just as being in the dormitory is not appropriate to online learning, so is it that um, that a coffee shop or some other public space like that is also not appropriate. So, you know, you can be at home, that's fine, or you can be in the classroom. Those are basically the two options that I would have for you. Um, there you go. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, 
Okay, the third thing I wanted to mention was that starting next week, so this is I think on March 15th, if I'm not mistaken, starting on March 15th, we will be having an ESC, an English Support Center. This runs for most of the semester, and it's a drop-in English language class that, you, that anybody can participate in. It's a great way of getting extra help. It's a great way of improving your skills. It's a great way of developing more confidence when you are speaking. I'm going to be one of those presenters and instructors this semester, and it is going to be online and offline at the same time, okay? So, um, if you are at home and you want to participate in the ESC, you are welcome to just click in and you are ready to go. I'm going to leave the link uh, in the description below for you to kind of, or nah, maybe I won't do that. Um, the link will be, I will put the link into the, um, into the LMS, not on the YouTube channel itself, but to the, to the LMS where I upload this video. Uh, you can go there and sign up. Now, here's something special just for you, okay? This is for my students, okay? For my students. I'm going to be teaching throughout the week. I've got Monday classes, I've got Tuesday classes, Wednesday classes, and Friday classes, okay? No classes on Thursday. I'm busy with that day. But what I'm, what I'm going to offer you is this. If you come to my, to my ESC class, okay, either online or in, or in person, if you come to my, my ESC, I'm for five times, okay, so you come five sessions throughout the entire semester. That works out to one session every two weeks. If you come to my session once, uh, uh, five times, and you are in the class for 90 minutes, which is about how long it is, um, you will receive an extra credit bonus in your practical English score. Yay! Free percentages. So here's how that works. So five classes, you come to my class, I mark you down, or your attendance will be, will be taken, um, and let's say at the end of the semester, you have an 83, all right? You have an 83 partnership some percent in my class, okay? But you've come to my class five times. You get an extra 5% bonus, O percent plus on top of your 83. So now you have an 88. See, it's just increased your average by 5%. So, or, or your score by 5%, I should say. So take advantage of that. It's a really, really good way of, especially for uh, beginners, it's a great way to have more conversation building than perhaps what you already have. We have had students in the past who have basically come to ESC with zero conversation ability. And by the end of a couple of years, they've really worked hard at developing their conversation skills. Within a very short period of time, they have developed an increased fluency in the language. So it's a very, very good thing to do. I would highly encourage it. Plus, you get a little bonus for me. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yes, the last thing I want to talk to you about is um, is attendance now um, the enrollment of the of the schools all across the country have started to go down because of covid right students are not uh, there's not as many students in the class as there normally would be simply because either a students are 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 waiting right they're waiting to to jump back into university because of, uh, because of the COVID situation. Um, there's also uh, a decline in the overall population. The student population is going down. Um, so 
I have two classes. Um, I have two classes right now. One of them is Tuesday, 11 a.m. and Thursday, 1 p.m. Okay, those two classes. Now, if you are in a class where uh, where you can, uh, you have maybe, you know, 8, 10, 12 people already in your class. And if you have those time slots available where you can, where you can switch from like, let's say a Monday 1 p.m. class to a Thursday 1 p.m. class, if you have that ability, I would really appreciate you switching over to to hit that minimum number of students that I need in my class. Um, there's a number of teachers that are going through this, uh, not just major, not just the English teachers, but also the uh, major professors as well are having this problem. So it's just a way to balance out the classes because some of, some of my classes I have like, you know, 14, 15 students and other classes I only have, you know, three or four or five students. So it's just a way of balancing out some of that. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, teacher, but I'm a beginner student, and if I go to an advanced class, I might not be able to do anything. No, that's not true, because if you're in my advanced class anyway, everybody is going to be working together. So don't feel nervous about jumping into an advanced class or an intermediate class for that matter, because really, it's, it's really not, you're probably going to be okay. All right, you're probably be going to be okay. So uh, I will, and I will be giving uh, any student that comes into my class um, from like if they level up, if they go from beginner to intermediate, for example, I will be providing additional assistance for that student uh, in order to manage the class. So fear not, fear not, because I, Dr. B, will help you uh, in that capacity, okay? That's my job, that's what I'm doing. I'm helping you. You're helping me, I'm helping you. You scratch my back, I scratch your back, it's all good. Um, okay, that's all I have to say today. Um, I do hope you have a great weekend. Please wear your mask, stay safe, stay COVID free, and I will see you in class next week. And remember as always, be the revolution. Peace, everybody. Take care. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.